Hey, my Taurus babies, what's happening? So Y'all like, lady, you a day late, ain't you? I am indeed. I am indeed. So, I was trying to debate what I was going to do with all this. I, I've got plans for the week. And so, I will do something special this weekend. Uh, and actually have put it on my calendar to do such. So get ready to be surprised. Uh, probably be Friday. I'm thinking it'll be Friday. Um, Thursday is going to be too hard to try to do it for Friday. So the next time you see me for tours doing the weekend update will be Friday. So... I'm giving you a heads up for a change. Can you believe it? I actually have a plan. Who knew? Um, the energy is jackass, fuck around, fucked up, and some other shit. On top, we got departures. On the bottom, we got this hopeless shit. I'm pretty sure both these cards came up in the last reading I did for you. I think it was the weekly update from last week. If it wasn't the weekly update, it was a weekend update. Either way, um, we're coming... Let me just put it to you like this. The departure card is, is what's actually happening right in this moment. While this is probably going to come up in your overall energy, you won't actually be getting this side. You'll be getting this side. So you, this is better. I know y'all like, fuck them five of pentacles. <laughs> this side is actually better. But I'm going to get into that in a minute. All is not what it seems, my dear bully babies. It just ain't. It ain't, it ain't, it ain't, it ain't, it ain't. I don't care what you say, it ain't. Um, it might look like it's snowing outside if you're on the other end of the world, Australia, those areas. I think it's winter time there. Might look like it's just the end of the world. It ain't. It ain't. Those of you on this end of the globe, oh, it's so hot up in the end of the world. It ain't. Here to let you know that it is not. Uh, relationship gone to shit. It ain't what it looked like. I'm just telling you. And this is why astrologers, tarot readers, and you know, psychics, mediums, and shit be telling you don't do shit in Mercury retrograde. This is why. Uh, what's making this particular Mercury retrograde sticky and icky is that you got all this other bullshit going on. So you got new moon eclipses. You had a full moon eclipse a few weeks back. You got Jupiter going sideways, Pluto and Neptune doing some kind of funky ass dance, show their hand and hide and some other bullshit. And it's just fucked up right now. Um, and not that it's bringing you anything bad. It isn't, but the energy is not stable. And, and as far as bulls are concerned, y'all can miss us with that bullshit for real because don't nobody do unstable energy. We just don't. So the first two cards, back in front of your overall energy, are coming up with chakras. That's interesting. So I'm going to just say right off the rip, some of you need to get in alignment. Some of all this crazy-ass activity is driving you nutsy batty cuckoo. We're going to roll this one out. Today, the 14th through Wednesday, the 23rd because there's some overlap there and coming out of that uh, Mercury retrograde on Tuesday yeah things are going to look a little bit different here you go Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday day before, day of, day after Mercury retrograde and things are moving this fast so if things feel like and this shit don't ever move this fast normally it don't it really don't um Fertility, that's the second time I'm seeing fertility. The queen of pen <clears throat> pentacles, our matron, us if you must, um, talks about fertility, fertility. Yeah, some of you may find out that you're pregnant or you may have just recently found out that you were pregnant. Uh, or some of you were just fucking worried that you're pregnant. That part. Oh, well there now. 
This is just tricky, fucked up ass energy. You got everything on the board. Wands, swords, water, earth. Yeah, you got everything on the board. And so that's what the fuck it feels like mud. Just mud for us. <laughs> you got the wind blowing. You got some water in here. You got some fire. It's it's a, it's messy. Understand this. Because this is your challenge. To know that whatever's going on behind the scenes. Ooh, it's all about that, that happy family shit. Um, this card is not the ten. But it's a four, which I actually like better than ten because a four symbolizes stability, some permanency. Um, the card itself talks about foundation and achievements, but I like this. And this is really what you should be aiming for. If I add to this, if I add to this energy, recognizing whatever dark side you may have shadow whatever y'all want to call it <clears throat> that you may have all oh, we are not walking around here going all oh, this peaceful in the world no we're not half of us are fussing the other half are cussing and then a group out of there is fussing and cussing this is not happy joyful happy shit you know what i'm saying you're going through changes some of you you're going through changes age related changes and we're not talking about you get ready to turn 65 some of you getting ready to turn 40 and y'all tripping right the fuck out and it's that kind of energy like oh shit what the hell don't let this is major energy so you know don't let what, what's going on in the shadows and don't let your shadow self keep you from getting here yeah uh yeah that part that part um this becomes the time where when opportunity hits you, speak up. Speak up. That throat chakra with the five of pentacles on the front end of your overall energy is telling me that some of y'all are just, you know, resistant to talking about how you really feel because of, let's just put the shit where it is, the moon shit, that shadow back of the yard can't see the light type shit a lot of us carry this schlep this shit around with us from past relationships and so now it's like you know what i really don't want to tell this jerk how i feel i really don't because this is just gonna end up ugly anyway and then there you are setting up the future the exact future you don't want because you're speaking negative to the future the future is going to give you whatever you're talking about you talk about, I can't drive a car. That's what the future's going to give you. No car driving. I don't know how to roller skate. That's what the future's going to give you. If you don't know how to roll, it's going to give you more of the same. If whatever you, and, and it's prevalent right now because the veil is thin. So it's not like you're speaking through ethers and layers of clouds and shit to get the universe to hear what you're saying. Pretty much you have only to think it and then see it. And I'm a, I'm a witness to that right now. So, you know, the other side of this is hopeless. And that, that's a huge improvement. At least you're out of hopeless and just anxious and worrying and resistant to opening up your mouth. Because if I say something, she's not going to believe me. If I say something, he's not going to believe Fuck all of that. Don't let your shadow keep you from your blessing now let me clarify this energy for you real quick and this is about change you got fives on top and on bottom that five of pentacles on top of that throat chakra that throat chakra is a five how about that so this is about change and for some of you this is a change because a lot of Taurus is just as we are we'll just puddle along you know fuck it we're gonna say shit i'm gonna just keep doing what i'm doing time to change that up Speak about it. Tell the person that you love that you love them. Let them know. They may not receive it well, but see, you can't worry about, there's that, that shadow part. You're going to get ready to start worrying about what somebody else is doing. Do what's good for you. Say what's good for you. Tell your truth. 
if the next person don't understand it, can't hear it, you naturally are going to get some relief just from speaking your truth. Many of you are just anxious because you haven't had a chance to talk to. Could be a bunch of people. Could be romantic. It could be work-related. But whoever it is, the next opportunity that you get, say something. Which then brings us to the back end of your overall energy, the base chakra, or the I have on top of, or with the Queen of Pentacles on top. Uh, some of you, like I said, either found out or getting ready to find out that you're pregnant. Others of you are going to find money. And why is this in my overall energy, EJ? Because you all no shit. You don't know sometimes. That's why. That part. But it, it's here. There's things coming to you, Taurus. So if it's not on the baby family level, it could be on just about every level. Romantic, financial, socially, and you, I, I've had a couple tourists tell me here in the past couple days, I'm just so anxious, like I'm just anticipating. Yeah, that, that energy is in the air. It's thick. You got good things coming, but be grateful for what you have. Because some of y'all, and I'm going to count myself in this group too, although I don't really want to. Some of y'all are like, I'm just sick of all of this. I've done all this work and I ain't got shit. Okay, what I just said, you, I ain't got shit. You talking to your future now. So be grateful for what you have. Look around you. Sometimes it's, it's difficult when you're in the thick of things to be talking about, thank you, Jesus. It is. I'm just saying, Allah, thank you. Uh, yeah, it's sometimes when you're looking around in your surroundings, it's hard. Especially if you're going through hard shit. However, that doesn't exclude you from saying thank you. We all have something to be grateful for and truly know that there are people that are doing way worse than you. Wish they had your problems. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. So for those of you that are kind of carrying that down in your gut, I ain't never get that in my way. Be thankful for what you have. Just saying, universe ain't gonna give you nothing if you're complaining about what you got now. That's what I know. And there's a lot of law of attraction shit floating around in the air right now. So if you understand how to use that energy even a little bit, come on, change up your thinking. Say thank you. Look around you. You know, the chair, the sofa, the TV. A lot of folks don't have that. The cable, the stove, the microwave. A lot of folks don't have that. A job, a lot of folks don't have that. A car, come on now. So be thankful for what you have. And of course, Mother Earth here is all about that. All about that. And as you begin to start thanking the universe for what you have, and, and now is probably a good time to just be saying thank you out loud. Fuck it. Um, some of the abundance will begin to just loosen up a bit and start coming to you. And you'll see the pattern. The more you say thank you, the more you get. This week, today, although I think a lot of this energy is going to be later in the week, like tomorrow, Wednesday, Thursday, the Knight of Wands on top of the Shadow card. So some of you, This has got a couple different twists to it. Some of you are dealing with relationships that you are literally departing from. You've done, it's too much, um, it's triggering too much. And, and here's where you have to be honest with yourself. It's, it's triggering you too much. You don't feel like being bothered with trying to do all this cleanup, rehashing the past, and then having to heal emotionally and some more shit. So some of y'all are just going to be like, you know what, deuces, I'm out. For others of you, um, you may be traveling, maybe going somewhere this week, Father's Day this weekend, coming up, some of you going on vacation, and some of you get ready to travel right into the shadow, come on, but it will help clarify some things for you, and it doesn't necessarily have to be any particular event that happens, just on the journey itself will help you clarify some things 
and help you get rid of some things or some people that you need to cut loose in your life. Sometimes it takes traveling and moving away. That's why vacation is important. We, we underestimate it and put it on some other shit, but it's important to get away once every year or two. Gives you a different perspective and also give you new energy to put into your situation. So some of you, however that is resonating for you, whether it's somebody that you're getting ready to cut yourself off from because it's too much of the bullshit, they're triggering too much, they're causing you too much emotional pain, or others of you that are literally physically traveling back home for the holidays or around people that you know, family or friends, traveling right into the shadow. But that will help clarify situations that you have going on in your life, anything that you're not clear on. With the Ten of Wands on top of the light, because <clears throat> um, we're right basically at the end of Mercury Retrograde, if you want to put it put it there. <clears throat> I think Wednesday of this week, it actually starts slowing down so it can start going forward uh, next week. But not enough, so obviously it'll be more on Sunday. But right now, we're still kind of in the last few days of actual Mercury retrograde. And so some of you may have been struggling to get in your light. I can't put that no simple. Uh, just because of things going on around you, people going on around you. Once this Mercury retrograde ends, this is the message with that, that struggle will be gone. Whatever form it took during Mercury retrograde, whatever form it had prior to Mercury retrograde, the whole thing is going to be gone after Mercury Retrograde. So anything, anywhere, any little knot in your life where you've just been having consistent struggle, whether it's finances, romance, whatever it was before now, after next week, all changes. It'll all change. And you will be able to stand in your life. But like I said right now, it's a struggle. You feel the struggle. It's like, damn, how come I can't? And how come I can't? And the fuck, how come I can't? All that's going away. All of that is going away. Looking at the king of swords on top of the partnerships and alliances. The end, well, okay, if I'm just looking at the cards, somebody's getting ready to get some justice, make some decisions, have some shit finalized. Some of you going through a divorce. So you may be nearing the end of that situation um yeah many of you might be ending ending marriages or you may be at the point where you're like i'm going to see the attorney however that's resonating with you for others of you um property is tied up in this too so some of you just got married recently within the last year or so looking to buy a house or you're looking at houses to buy that part um i don't know why this is striking me the past couple weeks line up your energy you know if you really want that house on the corner <laughs> with that big fat extra big backyard line up your energy line up your energy same thing we go back here you know you can't just dwell on whatever's floating around in the, in the shadows you got to manifest and you got to get on board get your head and your mind on board speaking it speaking it speaking it and not being resistant to speaking your truth that's what you want that's what you want that purple house on the corner that's what you want but you got to have everything lined up your head your heart everything or you go get bits and pieces of what you're trying to get but not the whole thing and i don't think anybody's trying to manifest a piece of something you want all of it so just make sure that's a message to make sure that the head lined up with the physical the heart shit. same for, for romance make sure you're clear or that you clarify what, what you want the universe to deliver to you the four wine or four of swords, I'm sorry, on top of triumphant success. Um, this is relationship. Those of you that have kind of been in that guarded, funky energy, all up in your head and scared to talk, once again, that throat chakra up here in the five of pentacles. If you let this go with with pure intent, 
Real talk. Success is yours. But it's all in the thinking, looking at these swords. If you say it's not going to happen, that's a guarantee it won't happen. And some of you, in this time, in the next nine or ten days, you may need to look at your belief systems. What do you believe? You know, why don't you believe this can happen to you? What's wrong with you? Your ears lopsided, so are everybody else's. Come on now. You think you're too fat, too skinny? No. It don't work like that. What is it that you believe? And then how do you turn that belief into what you want? If you're thinking one way, but your belief system is taking you another way, take some time and, and untangle that. And usually writing is a good thing. Just throw that out there. With the lover's card on top of the firm foundation, um, in this Mercury retrograde with Neptune and Pluto doing the funky bird over the other end of the cosmos, make sure you're seeing, this is major energy, this is a lover's card, make sure you're seeing the full thing. And if this means you can't say yes until next Wednesday or next Friday after the 22nd, then oh well. But in order for you to make a good decision so you can have this firm foundation, make sure you're seeing shit crystal clear. Anything is murky to you, wait until the energy allows you to see clearer or spirit allows you to, whichever way you're going with it, until you can see it clearer. You, there's nobody saying you got to make a decision right now. And certainly, it shouldn't have to be in the next seven days. Somebody can't wait. Just saying. Throwing it out there. With the three of cups on top of the emotional loss. So those of you that have been do some changes with somebody, that emotional loss down there on the bottom. They're coming with an offer, as they are. And this is going to go from the sublime to the ridiculous. Could be offering an ice cream cone. Could be offering you a ride to the airport. Could be offering you that seven carat diamond. I'm just saying. Depends on your situation and who you're dealing with. But some of you may get more than one, depending on how many folks you got playing. I'm just saying, you're in that energy, you've been single for a while, and you got a couple dates over here and a couple dates over, over there. All them couple dates is coming with shit. And it's decision-making time. Mm -hmm. That part right there. With the four pentacles on top of the victory and success. Once again, feeling like you stuck. But it's victory and success. And you say, how does it go from being stuck to fast-moving energy and you letting go of that shadow so you can get to that damn rainbow? Come on. All that midnight moon secret shit, knowing that shit's leading to the rainbow. Come on. Right there. So while you may be feeling stuck, and it's taking me right here, working behind the scenes, things that are happening that will come to light shortly. It ain't going to take all day of day. When that happens, pow, there you go. But you, some of you just may be heavy in this right now. Trust me. Do your best to work through it, but it's going to lessen as we move through the week. These heavy energies are going to start dissipating and moving on. So just be aware of that. With the Eight of Pentacles on top of the waiting game, this has got a lot of stuff to do with people in school and work. Um, because of Mercury Retrograde, it feels like, and I can hear supervisors now, we can't do anything until they get back from vacation. I can't get the promotion signed until they get back. I hear a lot of that conversation. So it's going to require some patience for some of you. For others of you, there are going to be some changes. It's a waiting game. I'm waiting on them to put out the curriculum so I can choose my classes. Yeah, there's going to be some changes. So a lot of you right in this moment may be thinking, oh, I want to get my degree in economics and I'm going to take this class, this class, this class, and this class, and that class, and those two classes. No, you're not because they're changing it up on you. And some of you may have to wait some extra time because they're changing up the classes that you're supposed to take. I don't know who I'm talking to, but there it is. Others of you, Trying to learn something right now requires patience. You know, the tree get all them kind of roots. 
that shit don't happen overnight. It don't. It don't. And so you may have to be patient with yourself while you learn whatever it is that you need to learn. Some of you might have tried to take up, I don't know why languages are in my head, German or Spanish or French, Russian, however, whatever. And you're going, this is not English. I don't understand. It's difficult. But be patient with yourself. You can learn it. No reason why you can't. So just be patient. It's going to take a minute. It may take you more than once or twice. You see that too up there. Before you can actually pass the test, some of you, some of my younger viewers, you're taking uh, driver's tests. Be patient. You might have to do it more than once. That's okay. I've been there if nobody else has. I had to take my driver's test twice too. Don't feel bad. At the end of all of this with the chariot on top of the fertility, um, there's a change. Yeah, there's a change. Um, some of you may be dealing with a cancer or somebody, and I, I keep I kept hearing that this weekend when I was listening to readings. I'm like, damn, everybody got a cancer? Uh, but I, I feel the energy and I see the symbol here. Some of you may be dealing with an air sign. Others, it, it could be, a matter of fact, we, we going through all four elements. It could be anybody, but those are signs that are popping out right here, right now. Definitely earth signs are here. Uh, Taurus, you might be dealing with another Taurus, maybe a Capricorn, maybe a Virgo. Um, but this is about making changes for the better. Making changes for the better. Um... Sometimes when you're growing fruits and vegetables, sometimes you have to, to make changes for the better so you can get better fruits. You might have to use different soil if you're growing tomatoes. Or use different kind of water that's got different shit, different vitamins and minerals and shit in it. At any rate, the changes that you're making are going to be, and the changes in you being forced to make some of us are being forced to make changes because the universe is just like fuck it we ain't got another 200 years wait on you to make up your mind so i'm gonna just put the damn decision in your face there you go and sometimes it's not a bad thing but you know the universe <laughs> if you don't do details the universe don't do details either it's just gonna give you a big blob <laughs> and tell you to go for it so that once again this energy and that this is in the same role this king of swords lining up your shit swords air intellect mind lining up your thoughts to get really what it is that you want and then making the change for the better major energy um the moon card the lovers and the chariot that's some powerful it's not a lot but it's what's there the three cards that are there are powerful just and then just off the rip, the little cards, um, the Knight of Wands, the Five of Pentacles, the Ten of Wands, uh, the King of Swords, the Four of Swords, the Three of Cups. That is, that's moving energy, moving, thoughtful, um, guided and, and, and guided, I'm saying divinely guided. What the heck are those? Are those fairies flying? Okay. I don't know. There's, I don't know why I was drawn to this. I ain't never seen these on this car before. What the hell do I know? I think these are birds. They could well be fairies. So what the hell? Um, almost as if you release butterflies into the atmosphere um, whoever's coming uh, this is not for everybody and I don't know how I got on this but okay whoever's coming with offers they don't want to make any more offers because it's paradise where you are 
I don't know who the hell I'm talking to, but I'm looking at that card, and that's the energy that's coming back. Paradise is where you are. Happiness is where you are. It's not anywhere other than that. And despite all the emotional loss and turmoil you may have gone through, because if you look at it from here to here, that spiral kind of just blows out. Somebody, some of you have more than one somebody. Some of you have a few people trying to get after you, Taurus. What the hell? The message there is paradise is where you are. Happiness is where you are. So I don't know who that's for. <laughs> when you hear those words, <laughs> then you'll know. Um, but there, yeah, Taurus, you got folks that's happy to be around you. Just happy to breathe the air you breathe. Come on now. And some of y'all are just being ungrateful. I don't know you nothing I want. But this is not your fault for not knowing because there's energy here of... Uh, with this offer and this lover's card that people are not you're going to hear things that people should have been telling you prior to today or tomorrow or whenever and they just now are opening their mouth so um, let it slide everybody don't know if it's what you want take it if not that knight of wands on top of that shadow take it leave it roll out roll out roll out. If you don't like what they're putting out there, leave. Give me some words for Taurus. Oh, that's been coming out a lot. Quit chasing them. Let them chase you. Okay. That came out last week, if I'm not mistaken. There's a yes. I don't know what the question you're asking. There's a yes. Whatever the question is, there's a yes. Oh, and there's my other two cards. Damn. Didn't I tell you? That throat chakra. Speak your truth. Don't be sitting up on trying to hold some shit in. Oh, I'm so worried if I say the wrong thing. Fuck that. Speak your truth. Speak your truth. And then find your balance. Get shit lined up. Find your balance. And as you step into your balance more and more every day, you'll begin to see um, abundance just kind of gravitating towards you. That's the best, best way I know how to say it. My bull babies, I love you. I'm sorry this one went over 30 minutes too. I don't know what the hell. But anyway, I love you. I hope you guys have a good week. I'll see y'all on Friday. Bye.